of funerals get higher and higher and cemeteries fill up. More and more people are considering cremation when they pass. But one Northern Kentucky family learned it's not that easy getting permission to be cremated. Charlie Craddock never thought his mother's passing would create so many problems. When he tried to honor her wish to be cremated, he learned it's not so simple. It started back in 1998 when my mother went and paid, prepaid for her funeral arrangement. Charlie says she prepaid for cremation, even writing it into her will. So she thought everything was done and there wouldn't be any problem. But her plan hit a snag. The funeral director told me, oh, by the way, all of your siblings have to agree that she can be cremated. The funeral home would not allow anything until all four adult children signed a consent form. Charlie says it was not just a shock to him and his wife, but also was a shock to the family finances. His mother had prepaid $800 for cremation, not $6,000 for a full burial. Then he couldn't find one brother. There was a problem in that my older brother was in the Philippines on vacation. Turns out each state has different laws, according to the National Funeral Directors Association. Some states, including Florida, Indiana, and California, allow the deceased to decide before they die. But Kentucky, Michigan, and Massachusetts require children to sign off on cremation. Ohio and many other states are somewhere in the middle. Charlie learned that if you desire cremation, you've got to check with your children beforehand. That way you'll save some added headache. The National Funeral Directors Association says cremation is irreversible. and As a result, there are major legal risks to everyone if it's done incorrectly. In the end, Charlie was able to have his mother cremated as she had wished.